congratulations, sir. A resounding round of applause, please. A resounding, the freshest and the newest Ghanaian. Thank you so much, Mr. Steve Rodan. First of all, the certificate of registration as a citizen of Ghana. This is it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Complete the documentation. I've also got a passport for you as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I first of all give all praise to God. Since a little boy. I always believed in my heart that there was nothing impossible. But the Spirit of the Most High, our God. And for years, since about 1972, I've talked about coming to Ghana to work with the Tootsie Fly and sleeping blindness. I talked about it when I had my Project Out talking book and in the visions, I've talked about Ghana throughout my years. And for now, over 50 years, I've talked about being a citizen in this country. The truth is, I'm committed to, as now a Ghanaian citizen, being a part of fulfilling the dream that we've had for so many years of bringing people of Africa, those of the diaspora, the United States, Caribbean, all of the people together. Because as I said, and I've said for many years, the only way the world will come together is that we unite as a united people of the world. So living in America, I have started, but I'm not done. I'm here to, to do this, to bring us together, all people of all nations, because I know that we are the original people of the planet. So it is only, so it is only fitting for us to bring our children together, all of them, all of the colors and all that, of which I've never seen the colors, but I've seen the colors of people, their hearts. And I'm wanting, I'm wanting us to come together as one people. It's not impossible. As I did believe there would be someday a national holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King, I too believe that we will have a united people of the world. Mr. President, I thank you for your heart, for understanding that the only way that the world can move forward is that we come together as one piece to do so. I celebrate that spirit. What is unfortunate is that too many people are too blind to see it. But I, with complete inner visions, I know that it is just a heartbeat away. I thank you.
Let me welcome you all to Jubilee House, the seat of our nation's presidency. I stand before you today to preside over a momentous ceremony, the conferment of Ghanaian citizenship upon the legendary musician, humanitarian, and global icon, Stevie Wonder. I'm glad he has decided to make Ghana his home and thereby join several generations of African diasporans who committed their lives to us, missionaries, policemen, lawyers, doctors, health workers, writers, artists, musicians, and the likes of George Padmore, close associate of our first president, Kwame Nkrumah, Bob Marley's widow, Rita, who has found a home with us in Ebri, Maya Angelou, a contemporary of mine at the University of Ghana, Ligon, the celebrated writer who spent a considerable part of her youth with us, and W.B. Du Bois, the great scholar who also found a home in Ghana and is buried here. Stevie Wonder's name is synonymous with creativity and the transformative power of music. Throughout his illustrious career spanning over six decades, he has not only captivated the hearts and minds of millions around the world with his soulful melodies and unparalleled talent, but also has used his platform to champion social justice, equality, and human rights. From his timeless classics that have become anthems of hope and inspiration, to his tireless advocacy for the rights of persons with disabilities, Stevie Wonder has touched the lives of countless, countless individuals and left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness. By conferring Ghanaian citizenship on him, we not only recognize his immense talent and achievements, but also acknowledge his deep connection to the African continent and his tireless efforts to promote unity, solidarity, and cultural exchanges among all peoples of African descent. His decision to become a citizen of Ghana is a testament to his profound respect and admiration for our nation's history, culture, and values. As we welcome Stevie Wonder into the Ghanaian family, let us draw inspiration from his legacy and strive to build a future where creativity flourishes, diversity is celebrated, and the bonds of brotherhood and sisterhood transcend all differences. His welcome represents a vivid manifestation of the goals of the year of return, which we commemorated in 2019, as a bridge between the African peoples on both sides of the Atlantic. In conferring Ghanaian citizenship upon Stevie Wonder, we not only extend our warmest embrace to a beloved son of Africa, but also reaffirm our belief in the enduring spirit of Pan-Africanism and the global African family, and the boundless potential of our continent and all its descendants. Today's ceremony brings starkly to mind a favorite and off sighted statement of the famous Jamaican reggae star Peter Tosh, who once said and quite rightly, and I quote, don't care where you come from, as long as you're a black man, you are an African, unquote. On behalf of the government and people of Ghana, I extend to you, Mr. Stevie Wonder, our heartfelt congratulations and warmest welcome as a citizen of our beloved nation. May your journey as a Ghanaian be filled with joy, fulfillment, and the rich blessings of our common ancestors. May God continue to bless TV Wonder and us all, and may God bless Mother Africa and our homeland Ghana, and make them great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.